All right, let's get on the mat. Nice and happy, nice and tall. Feel the feet nicely planted. Interlock your hands, bring your hands up. And let's begin for 10, 10. That's it, roll your weight, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, give me one more, and one, excellent, and release. Take the left leg. This time when we go to the side, I would like you to draw three imaginary sections on the side of your body and then interlock your hands sorry focusing on the first second on the front of the body two. that's it keep on the front of the body three three front of the body four four now the middle of the body five five that's it six so you're just sectioning the body six side seven seven eight eight and the back of the body nine nine ten ten just give me two more so we make it all even eleven eleven and last one twelve that's it, 12, fantastic, and release. Take a pause. So what I meant was just section this area. We're gonna break it down even further. Now, keeping the hands in a five-point star. Become aware of the intestines. We're gonna squeeze that in and twist. And twist, that's it. And two, twist. And twist, that's it. And three, twist and twist, press into your feet, and twist, and four, that's it, keep it going, twist from the inside, five, five, use your elbows to get really deep, six, in the twist, six, that's it, seven, seven, that's a lovely twist, eight, eight, just two more, nine nine give me one last one ten excellent and ten fantastic now release let's focus on our hips let's make nice big juicy ten circles that's it ten and nine give me eight and seven that's it give me six and five Give me four big circles, that's it. And three, give me two, give me one last one, fantastic. Now reverse, 10, nine, don't ignore these hip areas. Eight, make it nice, stretchy, lubricated. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. If you keep these movements consistently, the, as you age, these hips will stay nourished and lubricated. And let's focus on that chest area, circling through the ribs. Keep it loose. And now let's circulate. 10. That's it. 9. See how you can use your hands and your elbows. 8. 7. To bring this chest forward and back. 5. Beautiful. 4. 3. Two, these are movements you normally wouldn't make. One, reverse, 10. And as you take this time, nine, to spend making these movements, eight, seven, you nourish, six, that's it, five, four, that's it, almost there, three, have fun with it, two, and last one, one, fantastic, and release, take a pause. Now we're gonna expand out through this heart center, smoothing any tension you may have 
unknowingly introduced into this area. So we keep the palms together and drag it like big wide wings. That's it, big wings. And wings. That's it. And nine. See if you can let it out through the tips of your fingers. So don't shorten the move. Nine. That's it. Eight. All the way out. Big wide wings. Eight. That's it. And seven. Bring to your mind's eye the image of a swan. You see how it pulls its wings out. Six. Big wings. Six. So gracefully delicate. Five. Big wings. And five. That's it. And four. Take it out, way out. Four. Smoothing out your heart center. Three. And three. Give me two more. And two. That's it. Big wings. Two. And one. And one. Excellent. And release. Now, this is where any female, any energy, any tension that is related to female complementary lunar coolness sits here. And the masculine feelings of having to be responsible, they all sit here. Let's move that out. So inhale, big. Bring the shoulders all the way up to the earlobes. Now take it back, more back, some more back. That's it. So back that you can squeeze through your shoulder blades. Hold it. If you can, interlock your hands and hold it here. Just three breaths. One, two, three. Excellent. Now push it down. So down as though someone is tugging from your wrist down. Excellent. Now take it back for two. Take it back for three. That's it. Take it back for four. Take it back for five. And forward. Six. That's it. Out through the wrists and the fingers. Seven. That's it. Eight. And nine. And ten. Excellent. Take a pause. Now, for everyone's favorite, this dance, this tribal dance, stirring up instinctual energies. Take it back. Ten. Nine. That's it. Eight. Seven. Make it wild. Six. Five. Four, three, two, skip it back. One, excellent, take a pause. Feel as though you have gone down to the depth of an ocean and stirred up all these innate energies. Now let's work on our spine. Come down on the mat. Strong hands, soft knees, but equal weight on all four parts. Become aware of your spine. Way down the spine is this triangular shape, your coccyx, your tailbone. Then your middle spine, your upper spine. Visualize the back of your neck. And then visualize this heavy, heavy, heavy skull. Excellent. Now round your back. Compress the back. Excellent. Now round the spine, compress the spine, that's it, round the spine as you visualize your pelvis doming down, compress, see how it opens out like a peacock tail, that's it, round the spine, navel back, pelvis down, and compress pelvis up. And round through the back. And compress through your back. Keep it going. Round through your back. This is so important for your spine health. And compress. That's so simple. That's it. Now focus on your upper back as you round. And compress. Focus on your upper back. Excellent. Now focus on your neck as you round down. That's it. See how it rounds even more. And compress. Excellent. Round, focusing on the back of the neck. And compress. Now, focus on the top of your head as you round down. And compress. Excellent. Now, this time, round down and invite to surface anything that's bothering you. 
Focus on the back of your ears. That's it. Invite up to surface anything that's tensing you and let it all out with a big ah. exhale. And come back to neutral. Now let the belly loose. We're just going to turn five to the right and five to the left. And turn. That's it. And turn the belly. And turn the belly. All those internal organs and churn. Like a washing machine almost. And churn. Now reverse. And for five. And churn for four. And churn the belly. And give me two more. That's it. And two. And one. Excellent. Come back to neutral. Now for those of you who have done the Surya Namaskar before class, this posture, what we're going to do next is a four part. You can break it down into two parts. If you're confused, ask me after class. So coming into this posture, tuck the toes under and push back. Push away with your palms, weight into the heels. Come up on your toes and then float forward and up. And release. Excellent. Table top. Push back. Float your own weight forward and release. Table top. Push back. Use your toes. That's it. Get the energy from your toes up and forward. Release. Table top. Push back. Float forward. Release. Table top. Push back. Float the weight forward. Release. This makes the body so light. Table top. Push back. Float your weight forward. Release. Table top. Push back. Float the weight forward. Look up. Release. Give me one last one. Table top. Push back, float forward, and this time, take it back slowly, that's it. With control, become aware of each and every part of your spine. Tailbone, lower back, middle back, upper back, long neck, back of the head, forehead. Draw the hands out with a big sigh. <sighs> Collapse into the mat. Stay here. Enjoy this point of contraction, this point of complete letting go, this point of complete surrender, this point of complete trust, this point of complete knowing that there is some greater energy. Now slowly come up. Let's work on our navel. So sitting in this robot position, we're just going to do five and we will increase the leg lifts together. Focus on the navel, visualize a long line and you're just going back and forth on that line. And back. And forward. And back. And forward, connecting to your navel. And back. And forward, nice and easy, still leg, back and forward, that's it. And back and forward. Now, lay down, just let it go, five point star. Hands apart, legs apart, toes turned outwards. Neck is nice and long and there is this space that we create between the ear lobe and the shoulders. Feel all those points. And now bring your legs together. Place your hands in the position of your choice, either here or here. Let the shoulders be relaxed. Let the elbows be relaxed. Focus on your feet. Make them long. Push out with that heel point. There's a lot of energy here. And from there, you're going to lift it up to 12. 12. 11. Nice and easy. That's it. 10. 
and nine. That's it. Eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two one last one and one excellent hold it here the legs are hollow and from here if you're comfortable focus on the navel bring the energy on there to bring your body up bum up head down hands down and roll out so you're not jumping into posture you're coming out with control excellent head being the last to come up and now come to the side of your mat strong legs Turn the right foot out, hands in T position, and come. Now, if you're comfortable here, look out. And if you're super comfortable, then you can tilt your body. And if you're comfortable here, look up. Now make sure you're sturdy in your feet before you start to move your hands and mainly before you start to move your gaze. Because the gaze, your eyes, are intimately related to your feet. Excellent. And release. Right foot in. Left foot out, come into a T, bend your knee, and twirl your body. Excellent. And come out. One more time. Let's take it to the right side. Left foot in, right foot out. Hands in the T position. Bend your knee and come down. That's it. Take it down. Stay there. and release right foot in left foot out hands in t position bend your knee and twirl the body down now if your hands is here or your hands are here see if you can make your hands into a straight line this small micro adjustments excellent and release left foot in right foot out turn your body to the right side and inhale up come down if you can allow the palms to face each other now if you're super comfortable here bring your hands way back and interlock your hands if not just stay here there's tons of variations. And release. Right foot in, left foot out. Make sure you're facing this way. And with your breath coming in, join in. If you're comfortable here, make sure your palms are facing each other. And if you're still super comfortable, then bring your hands back. I'll just stay here and release and now again to the opposite side right foot out inhale and come so again same rule if you're comfortable take it back 
And if you're still super, super comfortable here, yeah, you can take your forehead down. Make sure you don't lose your balance. And release. Right foot in, left foot out. Okay. Make sure the back leg is turned slightly in. Hips pointing forward and come up. Hold it here. Remember, if you're comfortable, palms face each other. If you're comfortable, then take it back and release. Come back to center. I'm going to take it a little bit more deeper down. So you can stay here or you can take it further down. And shift. That's it. Once again, if anybody needs a variation to this, please ask me after class. And taking it a little bit deeper if you're comfortable. If not, just stay where you are. And switch. And switch. Just staying wherever you are comfortable for today. And last one to the left side and switch. Excellent. Come back to center, clasp your hands if you need to, to come and release. Excellent. Now, find a comfortable position. Sit on a chair, use as many cushions as you need to. <clears throat> Make sure the spine is straight. Palms facing up. And we're going to begin with Ujjayi. Remember, use your throat, back of the throat. Invite the breath through the back of the throat. Make sure your fingertips are soft so you can actually feel the rise and fall of the belly. Make sure the whole arms are alive, so don't collapse your hands. Especially when, I, when we come into this, do not collapse your elbows. Keep them alive. Fingertips on the belly, right below the ribs. And we begin. In, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four, five, six. Hold, two. In, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four, five, six. Hold, two. In, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, hold, two, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, hold, two, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, hold, two, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, hold, two, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, hold, two, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, hold, two, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, 
hold two in two three four hold two three four out two three four five six hold two release your hands palms facing up if you're comfortable place your focus on the point between your eyebrows now as you stay comfortable in this point see if you can shift your gaze a little bit back to the center of the space in your head if you're comfortable shift your gaze to the center apex of the space in your head and just keep your focus softly on that point Do not tense it is such a subtle point it can it can shift to tension if that happens just once again shift the gaze outside the head and try again in a couple of classes to so come back here and if this is comfortable shift to a point inside the head we are slowly slowly trying to activate the pineal gland the subtle energy points Position two, thumbs under the armpit, fingertips soft, keep the elbows alive, alert, relaxed, and begin. In, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, hold, two, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two three four five six hold two in two three four hold two three four out two three four five six hold two in two three four hold two three four out two three four five six hold two in two three four hold two three four out two three four five six hold two in two three four hold two three four out two three four five six hold two in two three four hold two three four out two three four five six hold two in two three four hold two three four out two three four five six hold two in two three four hold two three four out two three four five six hold two in two three four hold two three four out two three four five six hold two release your palms face them up taking a few normal breaths let the awareness sit in the center of your head if you're comfortable. No tension, no friction, no resistance. Simply observe. Position three, 
hands up elbows up elbows alert alive fingertips soft so you can feel the rise and fall of your own body begin in two three four hold two three four out two three four five six hold two in two three four hold two three four out two three four five six hold two in two three four hold two three four out two three four five six hold two in two three four hold two three four out two three four five six hold two in two three four hold two three four out two three four five six hold two in two three four hold two three four out two three four five six hold two in two three four hold two three four out two three four five six hold two in two three four hold two three four out two three four five six hold two release hands palms facing up taking normal breaths continue to place your focus in the center of the space in your head Moving on to the practice of Bastrika. We're going to excite all the nerve paths. Hands in fist. Raise your hands up. Coming down. Inhale, hold. Excellent. Exhale slowly. And taking normal breaths, observe the space inside your body. Anything that stirs up. Spine is nice and long, don't collapse it. Round two, hands in fist, hands up, take it down. Inhale, hold. Exhale, slowly. No more breaths. 
observe with faith in your body. Round three. Hands in fist, hands up and take it down. Exhale, hold. Inhale, hold. No. Moving on to the practice of Omkar. Inhale, come. If you don't have to synchronize the own, the different phases of the own to mind, just Inhale comfortably and let it out in your own capacity. Inhale comfortably. Uh... Switch your position. Minimal amount of move. And now we will move into the practice of Kriya. Long, deep, continuous breath. So we made just a slight change to the Kriya practice. We're going to start off with long, deep breaths. And when there is an urge, you can switch the pattern to what you consider, whatever arises. Okay, we will practice that for the next five minutes. So you can go at your own time to the normal speed, at your own time to the fast speed. Or if you feel you can just stay on one speed. Just become aware of each and every single breath. If your mind wanders, just bring it back to the breath. conscious breaths. Make it long, make it comfortably long. Like waves of bliss, Sandaria Lahari. These breaths expand and contract in this ocean of bliss that is your body. When you get very comfortable with this breath, 
you can do a lot of miracles. It's a very accommodating breath. It is a very transforming breath. It has the capacity to penetrate and harmonize not only inside your own body, but also the people around you. But you have to gain subtle mastery of it, where not a single breath escapes your awareness. If you can maintain this awareness, to each and every breath that arises in this body-mind, you will gain mastery of its subtlety. And you can use it to heal, influence, harmonize the space and people around you. In a holistic way. And as you get comfortable in the Kriya practice, let the breath expand, extend six inches around the body. So don't forget the base of the body. Don't forget the top of the body. For the tendency is normally just to get comfortable with the sides. But don't forget the front, the back, the up and the down, like a sphere around your body. And remember, if the speed changes from your own volition, from your own accord, let it. And you can practice it with your eyes open or your eyes closed, it doesn't matter. I'm aware of each and every breath that enters and leaves this body. Long, deep, conscious breaths. As you get comfortable sending this breath out, see if you can switch your awareness to staying in the periphery of your body. And you can feel this undulation, this expansion and contraction on your framework of the body. If I'm going too fast, don't worry, just stick to what you're comfortable with. So if you're comfortable expanding the breath out, see if you can sit your awareness on the framework of your body. And you notice this slight expansion and contraction happening on the periphery of your body. I will keep repeating each class, don't worry. The main thing is be comfortable. Fast, expansive breath. Try not to miss a single breath. To become intoxicated in this pulsation, this undulation of this breath. If you happen to get a little overwhelmed, Then just take a pause and start again.
And now we're going to go together as a group into the practice of Kapalabhati. Focus on the navel. We're going to pull it back for 20 times. And back, release. In, exhale. and release so you're consciously pulling the navel back and releasing and now observe the free flow of your own breath as you stay on guard at the nostril I'm going to name a body part Mentally, bring your awareness to that body part. Right foot. Right foot. Right foot. Left ankle. Left ankle. Left ankle. Right knee. Left hip. Right thigh. Left side of your chest. Right fingertips. Left elbow. Right buttock. Left shoulder. Right hip. Left buttock. Excellent. Keep it going. Right lower back. Belly. Back of your neck. Face. Back of your head. Nose. Lower back. Forehead, top of your head, excellent. Now from here, pin drop all the way down to the base of your spine, visualizing a long hollow tube. Notice that the tube doesn't stop, but it continues from the back of your head, the top of your head, the front of your forehead, having touched the third eye point Connecting all the way down to the base of your spine. I have sent an image. And as you inhale, breath rises, liquid rises, circulates through the front of your forehead, having touched the pineal gland. Make this circular movement. Inhale, breath rises. Exhale, coming down, having touched the pineal gland. Everything inside the body is dark, is black, luminous liquid, vibrating, rising up, exhaling back down, having touched the pineal gland. Inhale, liquid rises, circulating back down, having touched the pineal gland. Everything is black, except this luminous liquid that circulates around inhale breath rises liquid rises 
circulating back having touched the pineal gland. Continue. Excellent. Now come back and re-rest on the base of your spine. Stay on the base of your spine in the perineum space between the genital and the anus. Sit here. As you sit here, see if you can mentally repeat the mantra so hum. Stay on the muladhar, the perineum between the genitals and the anus. Hear the mantra so on the inhale. Hear the mantra hum on the exhale. So hum. And if you like, you can mentally repeat. The spine is nice and comfortably straight. And from here, raise your awareness to the Swadhisthan, the genital area. And here, or mentally repeat the mantra, so, hum. From here, rise up to the Manipur your neighbor, your house of jewels. Mentally repeat the mantra, so, hum, continue. Spine is nice and long, shoulders are comfortably relaxed. Raising the awareness to the heart center, anaha. Mentally repeat the mantra, so, hum. From here, ascend way up to the throat area. Mentally repeat, or you can hear the sound, so, hum. between the eyebrows as you mentally repeat the sound so hum and from here rise all the way up to the top of your head mentally repeat the mantra so hum continue we're going to descend down Third eye point, continue mentally repeating the mantra. Vishuddhi, throat. And at some point you notice it has shift. It will be hum, so, or so, hum, it doesn't matter, all good. Come down to the heart center. Come further down to the Manipur. Come further down to Swadhisthan, the sexual area. Keep repeating mantra so hum, or if it appears as hum so, it is all okay. Come further down to Muladhar. I'm going to finish off with a short prayer and I advise you to lay down after that. 
or just sit still in meditation, just observing the body. Om Bhur Bhuvasvaha Tat Savitur Varenyam Vargo Devasya Dimahi Dio Yona Prachodaya Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Just continue to sit still. We will keep expanding on these practices. I'm going to pick one of these practices and expand them as we progress. So you can continue to sit still for a few more minutes, please, or you can lie down. Just simply continue to observe inside, outside, observe your thoughts, allowing the body just to be. If thoughts arise, entertain them. Please kindly try not to move. Just respect the energies that have risen inside the body. Just be with them. Just observe, making the mind nice and subtle. Thoughts arise, entertain them. As you watch the thoughts, sometimes the clear breath will kick in. Enjoy it. So whatever arises in your field, outside, inside, noise around you, excellent. Now. If you're ready, if you want to continue staying still, you can do so. If not, just bring your palms together, rubbing your palms, creating heat. And gently place your eyes on, with your palms, cup your eyes, feel the heat. And then gently pat your body, head, back of your neck, your back, your legs, your feet. And thank yourself the energies that brought you to the practice. We drink lots of water for those of you who are joining in the afternoon. If you have any questions, any questions about the changes, please ask. If not, have a fantastic day and I will see you on Wednesday.